A very warm welcome to Tech Mining. Oracle Apex application deployment consists of two steps, export the desired components to a script file and import the script file into your production environment. First let's export our sales web application. For simplicity we will deploy the application in the same workspace to understand the deployment concept. The same technique is applicable to the production environment. This section will demonstrate how to export an Oracle Apex application that you can import into a new or the same workspace. After you click the export button, a file will be saved in the download folder of your PC. In this step we will import that exported SQL file to our existing workspace to which we are connected. On the install page when you click the run application button, you will encounter an error saying you are not authorized to view this application. When you deploy your application you will need to manually manage your user to role assignments, application users are not exported as part of your application. In this step we have to add three users, and assign them different roles. Create the first user with your workspace email ID, and assign it administrator role. For remaining two you can use any name you like, then assign them contributor and reader role. Set authorization scheme to, no application authorization required. Now you will be able to access the application. Now open the new application you just imported, in the page designer interface. In this step we are going to prevent users from modifying the application by suppressing the developer toolbar, the developer's toolbar is used to access the application source. By setting this option you will see that the new application edit link will disappear. Click the run button. Note that the developer's toolbar has disappeared as well. Execute these steps if you want to make this application editable again.
Here you go, the developer toolbar and that pencil edit link are now enabled. That's it, you have successfully deployed your application in the same workspace, same procedure is applied to deploy the application to another environment. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching.